neighbor. So yeah, you can replenish them that way, can't you? Captives. But I mean, if we're going to end up losing it, I'd rather just have maximum labor from it right now. Got to be careful. Oh, they're over here. No, we... Oh, they are replenishing through my territory, though. So they should be okay. Well, who took them out? Was that Grimgore? Oh, no. That would be... It was like, like you guys, Kolak. I wonder how Grimgore fares in this now. Actually, he's kind of surrounded by chaos dwarves. Where does Grimgore tend to go? Who is he at war with, actually? Ready. I mean, he's threat rank four. So he's not shabby. He's after the ogres, so he'll probably like just keep pushing down here against them. Just flattening ogres. Control all the mountains. Yeah, fair enough. We'll enslave him later. I mean, we'll make him a wonderful intern later. Okay, cost of convoy shortcut event. Wayfinders is the chance of an ambush reduces. The thing is, I kind of like that sometimes because the extra benefits you get. Better scales is the sale value of cargo and cargo capacity. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind more replenishment for them. Armies replenish in foreign territory. Okay, that's super useful at tier three. So I'm going to go through hidden stores just for survival so they last. Right, so Forge of Eyes, we could now look to put in Strip Mine. Oh, hang on, what's this? Guard Tower. Control. Okay. That requires a workload increase of plus 300, and we only have 630 right now, so that takes up 700, so it wouldn't be efficient right now. Don't want that. Oh, Village the Cursling moved in there and took that. Or his um his vassal did. Oh, you can see who the master is now. That's I think that's new. My brother agrees. How do you feel about me, Village? Just just kind of scoping out who I'm gonna smush next. Tribesmen gather. Village. Ah, but thou what was that you going to say? Oh, it's you. It's you. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Go. Don't speak silence. All right, mate. 83, though. You've only got one settlement, so I could probably comfortably smack you out. And then all of this is mine. Because everything's suitable. Everything's up for grab. If grabs with the Dowies are. Right. Uh, can I attack the army outside and draw them all out to me? Or are they going to run? Yeah, you're going to run. Thought you might. Oh, not far enough, though. Can't hit you the same turn. I have to hit the keep. Oof, that is nasty. And the artillery, we can definitely use that. Oh, it's, the, it's the rest of my infantry. They've got no armor, so they'll be absolutely shredded. As with most of my whole one, so it's only those those three units that are actually going to be able to do anything substantial here. So I'm going to move there and hope that because I'll be closer next turn, I can hit that one. Even if they retreat, I can hit them again and draw them all out to me. If I upgrade that, I can get some Hobgoblin Wolf Riders. Prophet, do you want that just yet? Need more armaments, which I shall be able to get this. Next turn. We have to start building that because we need armaments for it. That's what I'd like. Let's skip that. End the turn. Is dumb question or not? It's the right place to ask, sir. Are there any thematic differences between the three Chaos Wolf Legendary Lords gameplay-wise? Um, I 
I don't think there's any kind of particularly like I don't think any of them have any sub set different campaign mechanics or anything like that. Um, just because there's kind of so many of them to interact with. Um, I think think they have the well, they obviously they all have their own unique faction buffs and bonuses. But I would say like ultimately they lend themselves to a fairly similar playstyle for all, all of the all of the chaos stores. It kind of just gives you some different starting buffs for your faction. Um and different buffs for for troops that they can improve throughout the campaign. That's pretty much about it. Hmm. That's annoying, they're not coming out. So I'm gonna have to siege them down. Or push in. I think I'll definitely take some towers then. It's not too bad, actually. Maybe they'll come back and try and push me back. I think I definitely want at least two two lots of towers to get some of my weakened my weaker troops onto the walls. Uh, we've got more industry because our convoy got through. You guys return to the capital five turns. So I could send out another one if I wanted to. Sharpshooter. And you give buffs to all of those units. Oh, you've got the um, infernal guard uh, with fire glaives. Those are rather tasty. I can send out another one of them. Let's do it. Where are we going to go this time? Um, and what do we want? Probably to trade for gold again because that's our most ample resource right now. I might... It's a, it's a long trek. I probably want to do shorter ones. Oh, I've got 400 armaments and I'd get 720 labor. Mm. I'm kind of tempted to go to Caron Car, but it's 13 turns. Just get more, more, more raw materials. Five turns. Oh, actually, no, we can just do to us again, can't we? Just They just come up towards us and it's more labor. Just keep doing that. It works pretty well. We can increase it up to a thousand and we get 302 labor. So let's do that. Let's lock it in now before the resources change. We'll see what they change to. Actually, I don't know if we can see what they change to while we've got one active. We should be able to because we can have two active caravans or convoys, I should say. I'm going to keep calling them caravans when I mean convoys. You know what I mean. But yeah, it's a fun way of like trading surplus resources. I think it's something like that has to be um, has to be included because uh, you've got multiple resources. You need something more to do with them at times as well. Ooh, out of the Volary. He gained a soul grinder of Zinch, but for ending his journey there. <gasps> ah. They bring with them offerings of the Volary. The ever-changing blade. I mean, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> hey, Zatan. Um, uh, you've got sort of anti-heroes, but I'm going to give you that for now. Yeah. You can you can have sort of anti-heroes. You just profit from these caravans, grabbing you lots of different bits. Sweet. That is fantastic. You get a dread quake mortar, you should name it Thomas the Painter. A hundred percent done. Done, done, done. Speaking of which, that's what I was gonna build here, so I can get iron demons. How much is it to force that through? At 270, I could kind of do it. Well, I was thinking break off from that, go get an Iron Demon, then come back. Or a Magma Cannon. How 
Have I got any of them available? Yeah, I could get one of it. Oh, no, two, actually. I mean, who wouldn't want a Hellforge Demon Train? Zank. If I break off, I'm not going to have enough movement to get over there. I, you know, I'm not going to push it through. I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to push through instead. Now that we've got enough labor for it, that. Well, I'm not going to push it through. I'm going to let it go through. I'm going to build that one while we've got the increased laborers. Um, call to war. Hollow rounds. Reload time for the blunder. Yeah, go straight into that. Power up our blunderbusses a little bit more. Unassigned skill. Yet more hidden stores to replenish your caravan. And then we'll go for cargo capacity. Yeah, increase our capacity of cargo, please. Building upgrade available. You can be upgraded with more materials. Um, it just adds in defensive supplies and a little bit more income, which we're not short on. If anything, you know, I want to save my raw resources to upgrade the uh, the drill, which gets us more uh, more raw materials and more armaments per turn. What's the spiky wheel thing called? Spiky wheel thing? Hey, village. Combine halves. <laughs> Imagine if it was like... <laughs> Chaos Dwarf farming update. Oh, am I taking attrition now as well? Oh no, the settlement's under attrition. Good. I was going to say that. Hang on a minute. That might mean I can actually press this in sooner. Close victory now because, because of the tower. I mean, if that reckons I can win it now. Let's do it. Medium casualties. Let's see if we can do better. I take the order. Damn it. Too late. Yeah, this will be one of those ones where I'll be like, yeah, probably should have taken the auto, but new shiny faction must play with every opportunity. I mean, Zatan's a, an absolute, like, tank, so he should hopefully be okay. I mean, our, our heroes are pretty good. We've, we've got Gordas Backstabber in there as well. Channel some magic. Praise Hushut. Um, where are we going to go? Where have they got fewest number of towers that can fire at me? Fun fact, Celestia Chariots actually did originate from like demonic combine harvesters. Well, there we go. Two over there and there's that one. I think it... I'm pretty sure it's this one over here. This is the best angle of approach. Simply because there's only two towers that you can actually have up and running. And one of them's already taken a fair bit chunk of damage. I'm hoping... This thing... Can bring it down. And do some more damage. I'm assuming the demolition rocket, yeah, is going to be good at bringing that down. Um, we'll hide our army. I say we'll hide our army. We'll have these guys here. Go for that section of the wall. Oh my god, look at these. Haha, <laughs> nice. By the horns of Hashut. That is fantastic. Yeah, you guys go there. Sneaky ones go up there. Oh, there's Hobgoblin Cutthroat sort of tower as well. Cute. Yeah, you guys all go in that way. Send you guys forward. What are you scratching under there? I mean, let's see if we can send these guys in towards the gate. Sent 
putting those towers in there. And go, go, go. Fire the rocket. Here it comes. Yeah, none of them are on the ground, otherwise I could uh can't even hit with them a missile. We deployed some troops over there. They're all waiting back inside. That's actually fine because once we get inside, we can set up the um, missile troops. They should be able to do a decent bit of damage. Oh, they didn't deploy any one of those towers there, so we're all good as well. Oh, yeah, there's a flare gun. You guys are right. That's really satisfying. Go. Push, 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 push. Chaos dwarves are here. Gates down. Get in. So we'll cap we'll capture this before we ever bring that tower down at this rate. Burning head. Oh, God, yeah, you guys are right. Fire spells look way cooler. Ooh, the spells not bounce off walls anymore. It's just following along it. Nice. Me backstabber. There he is. Yeah, I'll stop. I'll 
No, the blunderbusses came up there rather than through the gate. Standard. Three guys down here. Come on. Get him. Damage resistance. We should be able to finish him. Come on. Uh, Blunderbuster will get him. No, he got him. Nice. Because we still use the cannon to fire on him. break. Get him Zatan. Once the tad catch him. Yeah, there you go. Come on. One more hit. One more hit. Because you can. If anyone can, Zatan can. Hey. You got some blood on you, mate. Grab a cloth. You need to clean up. He's happy. He's had a he's had a lovely time. Job done. <laughs> Zatan almost looked as, almost as tall as the kill sword because <laughs> the hats count. <laughs> Bless him. 364 lost. Yeah, I think that's probably slightly better than the uh, all resolved medium casualties. We didn't lose a whole unit anywhere. The Blunderbusters actually didn't get to fire particularly well. 
Getting some good veterans. He's showing up on them now, though. Hobgoblin sneaky gets did all right. I'm, I'm not expecting anything from the laborers. I kind of feel like I'm just taking them out of the, out of the mines for the day. It's like their day off. Do you want to be stuck in the mines for another day or do you want to come out and maybe die? I mean, you will die in the mines anyway. Possibility of not death and, a, and some fresh air-ish. Ooh, when Chaos Dwarves capture major settlements, they gain the option to rebuild the settlements as one of three different settlement types. Outposts, factories, or towers. Towers are the focal point of Chaos Dwarf Empire. Constructing these will unlock the best recruitment and provide various global bonuses to increase your power. Increase the starting tier of towers by expanding... By, by expending Conclave influence. Oh, cool. Kind of like Skaven. If you change your mind about which settlement type you want later on, you can mouse over the primary building chain to convert it. Doing so will revert the settlement to tier one and destroy all secondary buildings. Uh, I can't increase the level because I don't have enough. Um, yeah, I think I'd prefer to keep the provincial capitals as as towers. So let's go for a tower right now. No. Praise Hushut. New convoy contracts. Nice. Oh, he's getting his great Taurus. Oh, we need to have another battle then. So the one thing I'm unsure, I'm well, I'm assuming if you build a fact, if you choose your provincial capital to be a factory, that's the one time you're able to actually utilize tier four and and five on these building chains, but maybe not as factories. Maybe it's, it locks you at tier three. I don't actually know, but yeah, I'm keeping my provincial capitals being towers for now. Um, yeah, we're not sending any laborers over there anyway right now because it's all this is all factory land here it's all factory land um that's raw resource yeah raw materials we don't want to do that just yet what's the other one got in it oh it's got the great drill hasn't it so that takes up a slot we're building that for advanced military um we're probably going to go for this aren't we control and movement and then uh, maybe just some gold generated. Some We do need some gold now and then for bits and pieces. Uh, I was saving up my raw resources, though, to be able to upgrade my drill. Uh, although, having had a look at it, is it is it that worthwhile upgrading right now? Increase the workload by 50. Uh, we get another 100 raw materials out of it. We don't get any more gold from it. We do get double the amount of armaments. Yeah, it's probably worth it. He is probably worth it. Um, we can definitely push through some construction, though, because we've got a lot of labor. Could we expend some labor for some conclave influence or something? How do we get more influence? Special build, settlement building, several of a shirt, missions, labor actions, and events. Has anyone else taken a seat at the table? They have not. I'm um, assuming it maybe tells you when someone takes a seat. That I need more gold for. Okay, so... Yeah, I might as well increase this to get... I oh, know we wanted it for the drill, so I can't spend anything that's going to cost me... M raw materials if I want to go ahead with what I was planning on doing. Uh, which is the drill. And I could throw defenses in. Or I could throw out another convoy. Because there are now new resources. Uh, oh no! Wait, that one. So that one's locked in at that one, but it's now we're at, we, if we did it, uh, military convoy to the Volary now, it would be for raw materials. Actually, maybe I need some more materials then for all this building that I'm doing. Ball sent on master, a convert, 
additional infernal guards, experience ambush defense chance. Four turns I could pop you out. I might as well send out another one, actually. Let's send you guys. And then what path will we send you on? Again, it's got to be something for gold. We could go down to the Haunted Forest, which is gold for laborers. Or we could do gold for raw resources. Which I think might be a good idea. Because we want it for a lot of our buildings right now. So send you off here. To the Bay of Blades. Let it rip. Off you go. Have a lovely time. Whose praise are yeah, so don't spend any of that. Save it for next time. The tan, you've got your great Taurus. So looking forward to seeing that in the field. And that is rank 12. So it be blade mastering and hard to hit time. When do these unlock this quest? Rank 8. So next level he gets uh, armor of Gatherat. Unlocked. What was backstabber? Bloody blade. Yeah, it could increase your speed. They need stabbing. Giant wolf. That gives you loads of speed. So yeah, let's make you. Let's increase your justifies your melee attack. Dan the demon smith. Cascading Cloak of Fire. Cascading Fire Cloak. Check diplomacy. Master of Mishrul. No, we're going to take you out, village. For chaos. Yeah, you guys are dead, so hopefully you come and try and attack me. What happens when your laborers go into labor? Have they got labor rights? Um, I'm afraid you'll have to take that up with the um, Hobgoblin Union, which uh, currently doesn't exist because it's been crushed. Oh, village, you just teleported onto their face. Hope you enjoyed. Who doesn't enjoy a Zinchen teleportation onto their face? Talk to the Hobgoblin HR department. I think the Hobgoblin... Uh, HR department is incredibly corrupt uh, and most likely doesn't exist either. Uh, convoy encounter. Hobgoblin tribute. An eager tribe of half-brained <laughs> hobgoblins have appeared from seemingly nowhere. Intending to offer their services, Hashut only knows where they were hiding. Despite their frankly annoying enthusiasm, their blades could come in handy. Or perhaps you could make use of this blessing they keep rambling on about. Um... Just the blessing is fine, replenishes our forces. Or numbers superior gives us some hobgoblin cutthroats. We haven't taken any damage, so that enables replenishment in foreign territory and casual eight percent for two turns. Yeah, we're not we're not wounded right now or weakened, so we might as well more numbers, more hobgoblins. I love these choose your adventure piles that you get, these dilemmas. Mission issued. Defeat him in battle. Oh, I think we can I think we can manage that somehow, you know? Oh, good on you for not running. I do want to see the bell the um yeah, the bell Taurus in action, but this isn't the battle for it. More laborers, please. Alright, they're destroyed. Battle masters. Despoil and ravage. Hey, village, I think I might try and jump on your face, knock you out, and then turn on your vassal. Of course. But you do actually have some rather nasty units. So before I can do that, I'm probably going to have to force march over, well, all the way over the Fortress of Eyes and get some more war machines. Now we can uh, build our drill, so let's chuck that in there. I could rush, it, rush its construction as well. Um, although if I did that, it's going to be iffy. Upgrading that increases the workload requirement by another 100. Gets us another 100 raw materials. Uh, uh, we need arms. I'm going to save up for this one, I think. So, 
We need as many laborers as we can. What I'd like to get here, actually, I'd like to get the demon smithy so that we could get the um, demon smith of Hashut out. You just cost gold, so I'm, I'm, I feel like I might as well upgrade this to get some hobgoblin wolf riders. Hellforge, you're telling me that I can yeah, I can boost some of these because we've got enough armaments. We just need to get conquering, basically. How much does another army cost right now? There we want an overseer. If I could do, I'd probably do a sorcerer profit. So I could do a, horse, a sorcerer profit of shit. Start getting another army. I think I might do that soon. Um, oh, the other thing we were going to pop in here was going to be just that one for gold. Tim, the intern of Hashut. Well, I mean, Chaos Dwarves aren't, aren't, well, I mean, technically, I guess they are, they are all in service to Hashut, but they're not, they're, they're not quite intern level like the Orcs and um, Hobgoblins are. Have it literally teleport there. I hope that if the other Chaos Dwarf factions are confederated, are defeated, if you confederate with them in the Tower of Zoldi Circles. Yeah, so I kind of hope that that's like a safety net and it just brings the legendary lord back. I'll actually, um, I'll have to ask CA actually if um, that is how it works. And if it isn't how it works, I would be like, please, please could that be how it works? Um, I know that it's. it looks like it's pretty much impossible to... I say impossible. It's pretty tough to take out the servants of the Conclave. They're sentinels. So they'll just they'll just sit around Zarnagrin. But then that's exactly like the Black Pyramid. They can be defeated, but it takes a lot of raw strength to break them. Um Hello. Astrakoth. Who's Makazu? Uno Dok Natarun. I did what to you, Kazoo? Very training. Recruitment cost for door. Ooh, armament cost for increasing capacity. Ooh, yeah, definitely just go straight into all that. We'll come back and do some more industrial stuff. More industrial stuff, please. That's it. Come back over here. So you'll be able to recruit more war machines next turn. So what am I going to get rid of for the war machines? Probably the hobgoblin archers. The weapon strength is actually decent. What's buffing that? Is it? It's not you, is it? You don't have anything to buff them, do the existing buffs they've already got. Um, Orc laborers, that's what I'll get rid of. Um, I just think I could just trade them into another army if I'm going to get another lord. Which I think I will do. Life sight, hateful... Plus 10 leadership when fighting against Greenskin, Skaven, Ogres, Team Kings. I mean, leadership doesn't bother me, but minus 10% cooldown to all spells. That sounds good. Kill that one. In battle, eliminate. Oh. Uh, that's, that's, that's quite a trek, guys. Helm of Discord's lovely, but that is... Oh, who fancies a mission over there? Oh, 
Right, so if I hover over, it doesn't actually give you the option to trade units out of it. But it might be because I've just moved in. No, it's hovering over there. Yeah, so don't, I think they've patched it where you can't um, take convoy units out. I think they've seen that. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at these. Iron Demons Magma Cannon. Oh boy. Um, yeah, so don't get rid of the laborers because we'll just trade them to this army. And. What am I going to go for? Um, just a load of gobos, I guess. No, afford. Uh, you know what? Cheap and cheerful. Go for these guys to start with. Just go for two archers. Yeah, so right now we need some gold coming in. So chuck that in. How are we doing on laborers? Ooh, losing 144 a turn. So we will lose some efficiency. There's just no way around it until we recruit those units that we want for the town and then go after village. Spent armaments though on... Yeah, we need to increase the number of war machines we can get. That's also unlocked ammunition. Um, I still haven't acquired... Yeah, I don't don't think I want to do that just yet. And war machines. I could add that. That'd be purchase and upkeep cost 12. So that'd be a fair chunk. You lose it through Hell Hellforge upkeep, yeah. Mm -hmm. Skullcracker seem to just have the same stats as Iron Demon, but without the guns. Yeah, so I think the Skullcracker is like useful as like a battering ram or taking down walls. Centaurs look useful. Although now that I think about it, they will die with Lionheart leading them. Hey! Yeah, that, that's probably true. The centrals of their cavalry, so yeah. Um, requested raiding. Raider region belongs to the following enemies of the subs of a ship. Dripping Fangs or Grimble's Ar Boys. I mean, that, that can be... We can raid against Grimble's Ar Boys, just about. I don't have any time timers on them, so that's going to have to wait a little bit. I also didn't realise, or didn't think it through... But, of course, I'm going to need a fair chunk of money to get this, aren't I? Uh, yeah, so Skullcracker's just a train, but without the guns to it. So, I'm kind of thinking, like, why would you get the Skullcracker over the Iron Demon? I guess because that probably has the bonus versus gates. Yeah. So that one, you can see from this symbol down here, wall breaker. So it can attack and destroy walls. It's got like a massive, like, well, skull cracker on it. Here are Sharmitaka. Who's the Nazate? Oh, babbits! Bring ruin! Fahashut! Doomleth! Um, right, what am I gonna do? Just thinking. I could go and hit the... Uh, they're going to be tough to take out right now because especially if they're sticking together like that. I could go after the snake gate maybe with Zatan and have these guys recruit 
and bring up the war machines for me. So that this town isn't just sat here. And that's so that we don't lose a load of laborers. So I'm going to do that. And have you build me Iron Demon. I don't have enough of the Magma Cannon. I don't have a way to get any more gold. So it's going to have to be across several turns. Yeah, I think we'll get an Iron Demon and a Magma Cannon. More Gutter Fighter, please. Which one are you? <laughs> He's over here. Bear blades. Um, in stores. Trish, I tend to go through that one first to give you some replenishment for later on. So even though you're not wounded right now, let's do it for the future. Right. It's hard not to be caught up in shiny fever because these are the 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 newest um newest factions newest race added into the game but these are easily my favorite now these are easily my favorite factions in the game just so much fun i mean i've been waiting for chaos dwarves like a faint hope for them since warhammer one since we saw them manning the hell cannons of chaos and now finally they're here it's fantastic Bribe the leaders or a great feast. Uh, no, bribe the leaders. Control, please. That will lessen my labor loss. Oh, as good as I hope for. Uh, even better. Even better. Oh, the magma cannon only takes two turns. Perfect. It's meant to be. In which case... Yeah, we'll start sieging this, the snake gate, build up some equipment, and then in two turns bring those guys in. Or or we still see if we can go into village and knock them out. Okay, go here. Okay, they've got an army over there. Marauders all. Slaughter the sheep. But I kind of feel like once I start pushing through these gates, I'm going to want to spill out into Cathay. So I kind of want to clear this area first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to raid and I'm going to go after these guys, actually. I'm just going to have to tear them apart from village. This can be upgraded now with raw resources. Uh, or could, that can be... Or we wait another turn we can upgrade that. Our capital over here. I mean, I don't have enough of what I want to put in these ones just yet. Definitely want to get some temples of a ship for the Conclave influence gain. That's going to help massively. That just needs some gold. Early on for the tower. You don't have any resources or anything like that. What do you do if you pop that in? So, and adding that in. Iron Storm Factory. What else can we put in here? It'd be raw resources turned into gold. Or that just increases raw materials output, but that won't work for us here unless we build an outpost rather than more factories. Oh yeah, Ironstorm does have that landmark building. So if we upgraded that, then we get war machines, upkeep for artillery. That would have an armaments so that's 50. Yeah, you know what? I am I'm gonna push that through. We can't rush construction because we don't have any laborers over here. So we need to transfer some laborers over to get that through faster. Maybe we'll do that, but not yet. 
convoy dispatch available. Oh, nice. Let's send out this guy who completed one already for us. Although we don't have a lot of gold. Uh, so I might wait a turn for some more income to come in. Um, so I mean, I could choose here. Just thinking, how can I, how can I put him in, and then say choose here, but put in more gold than I currently have? Oh no, I can't. It's just that's the maximum it will go up to, right? It won't actually let me dispatch. Fine, 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 fine. Um, what other options have we got? So that would get us loads more over at the Bear Blades, but we've got another one going over there. Uh, more labor probably, gold for labor down here. Yeah. So we'll just wait till next turn and then we'll dispatch. That's fine. End turn. But this convoy better since it's access to more locations. Yeah, it's got different different bits to it. But, I mean, there's still only kind of a, a set number of them. Kind of cool if there were more. you could create eventually or appeared. I guess it kind of reflects that there's, there's only so far they'd be willing to travel and actually so many places that would actually have anything that they'd willingly trade with. Uh, very training. Nice. That's good. Um, yeah, everything else costs us now armaments to upgrade through there unless you want to go for starved wolves but don't want to. Sorcery might go through that to get more direct relations with other chaos dwarves. A look through what we got here. My quotas, conclave, tower settlement buildings gain an additional plus two conclave influence per turn. For this, you've got to spend conclave influence. Industry, live to work, work to live. Construction cost minus fifteen percent for outpost settlement buildings. Construction time minus one for outpost settlements. It's the cost of a thousand raw materials. Um, wartime economy, that's advanced military stuff. Run over his recruitment has to for convoy. Ooh. Experience return. He okay, let's go through merchant guilds now. Drink Mata Indrin Kuli. Whose praise are Budraj. So I can't actually hit it this turn, so I might as well move forward raiding. I don't know where Village is. I'm hoping he's gone far, far, far away because the last thing I want is Village jumping on me after we face this Marauder Horde. Slaughter the sheep. Bloodthirsty. Come in, Greece. He's still only got one settlement, but his strength is increasing. Doomfaumancy. Okay, I'm going to send Gordits out. This was. Just see. Okay. Can't see village. So unless he has the mother of all teleports, we should be safe to dive in next turn and hit these guys. No point damaging the building. Salting units. No, we want to save our money actually because we want to send out a convoy. Oh, both of our convoys are finished. Okay, so they're on cooldown. Oh, wow. You look at you. you war machines there. I send you out. And where was it? I was going to go Bear Blades, right? So we want more raw materials for upgrading and building things. Although, how are we looking on labor? Probably not great because it's been a good few turns since we had a battle or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. We need to go for some labor. Get that sorted. It's going to take a few turns, but still. So choose the Haunted Forest. 480 laborers. Sounds like a bargain. 
send you guys out for turns not long we'll add another one in the next couple of turns when we can spare more so it's gonna take me a turn or two to get that army across isn't it i'm selling skill points yeah well done you got a mammoth nice oh hey, yeah there we go Lasting glacier. You got you got some items like this from the convoys before, didn't you, for Cathay? Arcane item. Despoil and ravage. You won't be able to use one of those, but down the demon smith could. Nice. So he's got fire, fire attack, flaming attacks off his pistol, off his flare gun, and frostbite off his melee attack. Lovely. Um, yeah, that one's saying we can upgrade there, but we also wanted to save up for that one. Yeah, just wait another turn. It's a decent item. Extra 20% physical resistance. Happy days. Convoy encounter the ambush. Show them their place. Let them get who's ever's next. Um, South probably not a strong point of our would be ambushers. A convoy rather than some questionable hiding place. <laughs> yeah, no, let's show them their place. Size of victory, low casualties. Yeah, slam dunk. More laborers, please. Karavzar Astrogoth's dominance. Ah, he's claimed a, claimed a seat. Oh, and um, Jezoeth as well. So you've got the random magic item and you've gone for the income from settlement buildings. Great. Well, we want to put someone into each of these. We can next because your yeah, industry district. That's a that's a sound one. What happened here? Oh, there was a fire. I see. Yeah, get that upgrade at the Volary. How many laborers? Oh, six thirty. I'm not sure. I want to wait seven turns for that. So please to our oh, village is coming back. Can I get my war machines? Yes, I can. Can't attack this turn. Okay, that's fine. Try and attack next turn then. My brother agrees. Hoping, do you want to go off the turtle gate and get wounded or distracted? That'd be that'd be nice, village. We'll keep Gordets here. Uh, you want control and extra movement there. Yeah, for now. Throw it in. Use your cargo capacity. Oh! 
I was wondering about this. Underground ceiling can be entered by any lord or hero to travel between the river and the frozen sea. Ah. Nice. Landmark building the ancient inner city. So that spits you out there. You can travel travel between the two because of the underground canal. I, I remember some uh, saying they wondered if that would be included because it's um, quite an important thing in the uh, in the law. Quite a significant kind of landmark. See if we can end things for today with one big battle. Yeah, village has moved away. Good. That's right then. Mountain needs destroyed. Don't know where village is. They jumped along that way so they probably pushed them away they're not at war with you guys yet in fact am i war with anyone no oh no he's moved right there that's why that's it Damn it. Oh, the only the only thing I could do is we declare war. This army goes in and hits that settlement to lock them in place. And then Zatan goes after village. Or... Oh, yeah. Can I ask to join a war against them without drawing in their master? War unceasing. Ha 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 ha. Wind shape. As long as the great enemy puppets you, your words no, mean nothing. No, it can't nothing. do it. I can go to them, which would pull them in. Yeah. Uh, I can use that to get a trade agreement with them, but I'm gonna. They're they're dead next. Tribesmen gather. Sure. What I could do though is do it for gold. Child of the night. As surely as the winds blow, we will defeat. Might as well get some gold out of it. Haggleheart is back. Boom. May the Emperor absolve me for... Circle them. Backstabs! Backstabs! Gaff them up! Gaff them up! <laughs> <laughs> My reinforcements still come in. It's not, apparently, it's not good. We really don't want to lose our whole army right now, but I don't think they've taken into account the power of our artillery. So, let's give it a whirl. In we go. Final battle of the stream and the recording today. We'll probably have had the first two parts from today's stream. I don't, I don't really mind if we end up losing the secondary army. As long as we don't lose too much of this first one. Because I need to be at reasonable strength to push on and knock out their settlements. The only thing we don't really have is anything anti-large. Aside from the Death Shrieker rocket launcher, which can do anti-large bonus with that. Yeah, there is a lot of large, all those trolls. 
the Doom Knights. Just wondering where we want to set up. Let's have let's have a look at the the war machine train here. War power. Thinking we want to try and draw them in over here a little bit. Maybe we probably want to actually, no, maybe we want to come across here and draw them into where our reinforcements can actually help us. Magma cannons are flaming attacks. And we do some decent damage. Range light from here. Hmm. Get draw them in just yet. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, they got the halberds as well. Need to bear in mind. Oh, yeah, I forgot Satan's now on his uh, Bale Taurus, actually. He's on a flying cow. Ah, you. Seems like a bumpy ride. See how this goes. They are trying to pull back. Oh, we get two uses of that now. Oh, that was huge. Oh, my days. Massive damage. That's absolutely cracking. Draw him in. Them out of the way. Nice. Oh, that is phenomenal damage. Okay, whoever said use the magma cannon. That is sublime. Ah, my poor wolves. Better just to wait until they come towards us. What I want to try and do is get these guys close enough that my um, blunderbusters can fire on them and then I can use the snare ability. We're going to want to do it on the Doom Knights. The screamers, if I'm not mistaken, are anti large, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Hit the 
get the Doom Knights. Pull back. I'll buff them. Fire that at them. Get him Zatan. Yeah, keep him up in the air. Shred the Doom Knight. Yes. Yes. Oh, that magma cannon is beautiful. They are gone. Yeah. Uh. We'll try and get these guys to slowly but surely creep on round to link on up with us. Problem's gonna come when I run out of ammo. If we can take out the Chaos Warriors as each of the Halberds, though, happy days. We've got the train to harass a bit. the horns. Noise. Choo-choo. Just mows its way through them. Full steam ahead. Pull him back. is lovely. Hey, hey. 
Get in there, Gorda. That's nasty. Train. with an augment. This game has friendly fire. Oh, no, there's definitely friendly fire. Okay, he's broken. These guys are unbreakable, though. Stop here. You guys go that away. Train head that way. Yeah, nice one, Magma Cannon. So you guys to withdraw. Wind's magic got siphoned away by uh, Village. We take him out. Nice. Finished. Get him up here. Fast forward it now. Down that chaos spawn.
<laughs> nice. Shredded by the train. Good Gorduts. Well done. Pyrrhic victory, but we did it. Lost 318 from Zatan's army and 246 from our reinforcing force. Actually, I need to rename you. That one, the plan for that guy is actually to become our Tim rather than just be a, a hero. He'll be a lord in his own right. Perk's a bit harsh. Yeah, I think so. We didn't lose a whole unit anywhere. Um, I mean, Zatan and the Wolf Archers took a bit of a Took the biggest beating. It's probably, I think it triggers Pyrrhic when you lose more than half of your, of a force. And we lost half of that reinforcing army. I think that's what triggers it. Specifically. But yeah, we, we smashed um, Village's army. We lost 963. Beautiful. Um, I'm tempted for the replenishment, but I think we'll be fine against that next army. I'm going to take the 335 labor because that is... Well, I'm, I'm tempted by a little bit of replenishment. That is way more tempting. Boom. Lovely. Yeah, that. So we'll rename you at the start of the next episode. You can be our Tim. Our Tim the uh, Sorcerer Prophet Enchanter. Or something, something else Enchanter. Chaos Dwarf Enchanter, something else. I'm sure chat will be creative next time. Um, I don't know. I'm, what I might do is actually break off the siege with you and then reinitiate it with Zatan the Black because we want him on the field straight away. These guys should melt uh, with all of our artillery. So that is where we'll wrap things up for this first uh, stream. Probably would have been the end of the second episode uh, from editing this up watching this on youtube i hope you've enjoyed until the next one take care and ciao for now